everyone and welcome back to Redstone Door Tutorials and today I've got a simple compact uh, double door to show off um, it's really easy to build and I will show you how so when starting this project you're going to need a few things at least three redstone torches a handful of redstone dust three redstone repeaters your wood or iron doors at least two buttons and at least one half slab so the first thing you're going to need to do is build a frame for your double doors. Place your either wood or iron doors in the opening. Come over here to the side and I need you to build out one. Just do that on both sides so it looks even. And then just build a pillar up. Let's get some black wool real quick. Just like so. Do that for the, both the outside and the inside. Okay, so once you've done that, I want you to place your buttons on the on the pillar you'd like to run your redstone from. They can either go on the outside of the block like that, or right there on the inside. Come over here to the outside of your doors, uh, and underneath the block the button is attached to, build down two blocks, and do that for the inside as well. Place redstone dust on both of those, and then from the outside button, place a torch on this end run blocks four to the side and then run redstone dust along them um, the blocks to the left and right of your iron doors or wood doors need to have torches underneath them so come back over here and build two blocks underneath them and destroy the one in the center and place a torch on the top that will open your doors until we run redstone to them do that on both sides place your torch and there you go now we need to figure out a way to turn on or off those torches whenever we push that button and that's easy enough to do all we have to do is run a repeater into the block the torch sits on um, from this powered torch right here so now your buttons are or your your doors are closed and when you push this button they'll open I like to put a three tick delay on them or four tick delay on them so it gives you just a second longer to uh, get through and then we need to wire your inside button to this torch and the easiest way to do that is just to place a redstone repeater between the dust under the button from the inside to the button or to the dust underneath the button from the outside so now this works from both the inside and the outside of your base and there you have it uh, the best way to hide this redstone is to destroy this torch for a second place a block there take your half slab place it on the bottom of that block and then replace your button hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time